everybody, it's Amy Valentine. Welcome back to my channel. I haven't filmed in a while, I know, I'm really sorry, but um, I hope I can make it up to you today in the form of this January haul, even though it's late, I'm really sorry. First up, I thought I'd feature one of my favorite things in the haul, and it is this gorgeous Graffia camera bag. They're so gorgeously made, like the quality is second to none. And my other ones are rucksacks, so it's nice to get something a di bit different from them. The compartments are great, it's like super waterproof for your cameras and stuff, and it's got compartments that are like removable with Velcro and a load of other pockets as well. I'm not sure whether this is the large one or the smaller one, but they do two different sizes and they also do different colors. And I'm so happy with it. I just, I can't wait to use it. I really wanted to take it to Paris with me, but unfortunately it didn't arrive in time, but you know, I'm always in need of a camera bag. So this will be really useful when I go to London for events and stuff. And that is 200 pounds. Next, I have a couple of sale picks. I don't usually go shopping that often, but Topshop had a January sale on. So obviously I had to go and have a look. They had this amazing glittery jumpsuit in the sale. I know quite a lot of people have this, but my size was there. It fit me perfectly. It has pockets. I mean, I just had to pick it up. It was a tenner. So I think that's so good. Unfortunately, I don't think it's on the site, but I thought I'd show you guys anyway. Another sale pick, which I'm actually more proud of, it is another all-in-one, and it is this gorgeous dungarees from Zara. And they are bell bottoms, so they, like, they flare out at the bottom. I already have three pairs of bell bottoms, and of course I had to pick these up. They were 12 euros, I think, which is like nine pounds. They fit me like a glove, and I'm so happy with them. Such a bargain. Now I have a little something from Misguided. Um, some of you may know that they launched their new active collection this year. It's a really great collection. They have so many pieces, and it's actually so like affordable as well. It was such a nice surprise and it's like the piece that I would have picked. I think it's so cute. It's a marbled crossover back sports bra kind of thing and it means that I now have an excuse to work out so Thanks, misguided. <laughs> and that's really affordable at £10. Now a couple of things from Attitude Clothing. First up is this skeleton vest. I love the print on it, it's really simple. The fit is great. I'm really into my kind of slouchy t-shirts at the moment. I'm just living in those. I love all of the symbols on the hand. It kind of reminds me of something you'd see in Urban Outfitters, and that is £12.99. And then I also got this incredible Killstar necklace. Uh, I've been, I'm a big fan of Killstar. It is this ridiculous quartz necklace with a snake wrapped around it. Such a good statement piece. It is a bit pricey at £39.99, but that, crisp, that quartz crystal is literally like this big. Crystals are expensive, you're gonna spend that amount if you want a crystal that big anyway. Attitude clothing are great for also like lifestyle brands, so like Rockabilly, goth stuff, like they have it all. So if you're into that, check them out below. Now I have a couple of things from Social Decay. I've been wearing these t-shirts non-stop. They are like the perfect fit and material and everything and the prints are awesome. I'm so happy with them. The first one is the Spacey Bitch tee which has got a moon on it obviously and it's got flex on it as well, kind of like galaxy. It's drop sleeve, it's black and I just love it. And then the other one is white yin yang t-shirt. Once again, perfect fit, perfect material. I'm so happy with them. They're the ultimate like slouchy, relaxed tee. I think they're so cool. And they are $23.95 each. Another gorgeous piece now, this is from Hannah Beth Fincham. I'm a massive fan of her designs. Her sweatshirts and t-shirts, like the embroidery is amazing and then her jackets are like out of this world. She does like massive studs and embroidery and everything. I've been a fan of her for ages and they're just incredible. So so I was so happy to get a piece from her. It's a sweatshirt that says, you are the architect of your own disaster. I love how the embroidery is actually a bit sparkly, so there's a bit of glitter running through it. I'm so happy with it. I'm not really much of a sweatshirt wearer, but I've been wearing this all the time. It's so soft in the inside, and it looks great with a pair of jeans dressed down. And that is 45 pounds. Something a little different now. I got this incredible skirt from Alexandra Greco. I've seen a couple of bloggers rocking this, like Beauty Crush and Liv Purvis. I got one in grey, I believe it's a 30 inch one, and I feel like a princess when I wear it. Admittedly, it is quite out of my comfort zone but I do have some ideas on what to wear it with and I've got a really cool idea to photograph it if things go well. I'm planning on busting out the Doc Martens and a band t-shirt and seeing how that looks with everything. And it's quite pricey at £123 but she's like a bridal dressmaker. They're all handmade and the quality is just amazing like it's incredible. Now some jewellery. This is actually one of my favourite jewellery brands so I was really excited to receive this. You guys may have seen me mention Rogan Wolf before. I've had a couple of their rings but unfortunately they are too big because I have no idea what my ring size is which is surprising as I have so many rings. So I got the sizes changed and I also got a couple of new rings. From their new collection I got the occult mini ring which is £30, the rune ring which is £50 and then I got new sizes in the cat skull ring which is £38, the corrupt ring which is £48 and the conquer ring which is £100 £85. They do most of the styles in silver and gold or black. The steel is like a midway thing. So if you really like some of the silver pieces, they do also do it in the steel. I think it's a great idea how they range the prices and materials and stuff. Some more jewellery now. This is from Forage and Find. I've also featured this brand before. They do some great reworked vintage pieces. These were sent as a surprise, but she clearly knows me very well because I love them. First is this mood ring, which is £12.50. Then I got a moonstone ring, which is £15. This silver disc necklace, which is also £15. This working compass necklace, which is £15. 
15 pounds and this turquoise drop necklace which is 12 pound 50. Such lovely pieces and they have all sorts on their website from vintage cutesy to kind of grungy moons and stuff. Then I got a couple of things from Sticks and Selfies. They are actually a phone case company but they also do crystal necklaces and I've not got a core necklace so I got this amethyst one which is eight pounds and then I got three cases from them. They're actually lasered out of bamboo which I think looks so cool and they just stick onto the back of your phone. Although I think I would get like a clear case and stick it onto the back just because I like to have the protection on my phone. So first up I have this Hamza case, then I have this super detailed Ganesha case and lastly my favourite case which is the Mandala and they are all £12.50. Now two items from a like online gift shop called Oh Dear. They collaborate with a load of illustrators to make their stuff which I think is really cool so people like Gemma Carell who I studied at graphics like I used to love her and from there I got this funny cat notebook. I think it's great and I've actually started bullet journaling in this so hopefully this will help me get a bit more organised. There's nothing more satisfying and motivating than starting a new notebook in my opinion. And I also got this complimentary colours mug which is designed by Gemma Carell. I think it's so cute and I'm like starting to build up my mug collection for when I go to uni because then I will know who has taken my mug. The notebook is £8 and the mug is £12. Now I got some temporary tattoos. If you follow me on things like Pinterest or maybe even Twitter you will know that I'm obsessed with tattoos. Unfortunately I don't have any of my own yet because I'm way too indecisive but I'm just so desperate to get some so it's really fun to play with placement and that sort of thing with temporary tattoos and the ones from Joelle's Emporium are gorgeous. She does things like mandalas which I love you can see from my t-shirt and moons and I got this cute little butterfly one. They range from £1.50 to around £4 depending on how big the design is obviously and I just think it's such a good idea and there's a ton of designs so go check them out below. Now something I got really excited about I got a new hair dryer from GHD. This is actually the rose gold version of their normal like hair dryer thing and I just think it's gorgeous. I've never been much of a rose gold haul but I just think this looks so sleek and amazing and my old hair dryer is just it seems so awful compared to my GHD one because I've had it for maybe like four or five years and you don't realise how heavy and pathetic it is until you've got like a brand new hairdryer. It's so good my mum has actually also bought one since I've got one. I also got a heat protect spray from them which was definitely needed. I've always used GHD heat protect spray but my ones are so old I still have the ones in like the little triangle bottles. That's like that really old packaging. So they've gone in the bin and I've got my nice sleek new one which is really cool. And the heat protection spray is 9.95. Now a bit of a silly purchase. This was one of those like whim purchases where I saw it on Instagram or something and I was like I want to get one of those. So I bought one of these lame Moschino fake mirror cases. No explanation, just thought I liked it and it was under four quid. So there you go, it's linked in the description if you are interested in buying one. It's far too big but I don't know, I just, I really wanted one. And last of all, I have the 14 day Fruity Tox. You might have seen some Instagram posts uh, of me featuring this. At first I thought it was gonna be one of those like fad detox things, but I read up on it a bit and I also took some advice from Leanne Lynn Walker, who is one of my blogger friends also has it. And apparently it's one of the good ones, so. I went with that. Apparently it tastes a lot better than the usual detox teas and it's not strictly for losing weight. Um, obviously if you do drink it alongside like a well-balanced diet and like regular exercise and stuff you might lose weight but this is just for detoxing which I really need because January, although it's supposed to be dry January, it was not a good month for me. I definitely needed a detox in January so this was perfect. I have a coffee every day without fail and I substituted my coffee for this and I just, I didn't get the massive coffee crash like I just feel, felt a bit more fresh and obviously it's all in your mind that you feel better about yourself for having something healthy. I got the 14 day detox which is 19.99 but you can get like a 28 day or just a day detox or the night detox so the website is below if you are interested. So that is everything from the month of January. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this haul. Sorry it's a bit late. As always everything is linked below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching and also subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and you would like to, it's free. All of my socials like Instagram, Twitter and Facebook are linked below. I always post on those so if you think I don't post regularly enough on here, I do on those. So, shameless plug, shameless plug. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!